Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne and welcome to The Balanced Lifestyle. Here I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds and I'm glad you decided to click on this video. new to my channel welcome make sure to stick around check out my other videos I will have some playlists list, listed below and check it out and if you decide to stick around make sure to hit that subscribe button so you are notified each and every time I upload a video today I have for you a healthy grocery haul I went to fresh time food market this is only part of my weekly grocery haul um, the other part is an Aldi grocery haul, which will be on my other channel called Leanne's Life. That is linked below too. If you want to check that out, that will be a healthy grocery haul also. But I wanted to feature Fresh Time because I absolutely love shopping at Fresh Time. Reminds me a lot of Trader Joe's. Their prices on their produce are amazing all the time. They are comparable to Aldi's produce prices. And I like their produce and their um, meat section over at Fresh Time. And they also, there are things that I just can't get at Aldi that I like to have in my diet. So I always go to Fresh Time. So I am going to turn you around and I am going to show you the products that I have that I have bought and also show you the calories because I am in a caloric deficit I'm using my fitness pal that is how I am tracking my nutrition and um, so calories to me are what I am looking for so I am going to show you each item and the calories in the nutrition on the back of the product so let's get going let me turn you around so again I said that this was a smaller haul this is all I have and it is just me here at home so I really don't need much. I honestly didn't need any meat this week except for this breakfast sausage patties that I wanted, but I picked it up because they were good sales. So the first thing I got were some red seedless grapes. They were on sale for 99 cents a pound. I am getting berries and such from Aldi, but um, these were such a great price and why not, right? So I just got picked up a few of those. I picked up some of these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. So for three potatoes, there's six servings in here. Um, for three potatoes, you have 80 calories, which is not bad at all. So I picked up a bag of those. Um, I like the Fresh Time brand organic pasta sauces. I picked up the Italian herb this time. So for a half a cup, there's only 45 calories. That is super good. Um, there is a little bit more sugar in this one. There's five grams of sugar. And here are the ingredients. They're all organic. When you buy tomatoes, you should buy organic. Again, I'm not perfect 100% of the time, but I will try to be a little bit better whenever I purchase my groceries. So half a cup for 45 calories is not bad at all. So I picked up a jar of that. This is my favorite creamer for my coffee, this silk dairy-free half and half, this creamy oat milk and coconut milk. I am about 99% dairy-free. Um, when I eat dairy, I break out in hives on my lower body. I don't know. It just started oh, a little bit over a year ago. Well, maybe close to a year. Summer will be a year when I notice those symptoms. I don't know if it's hormone related. I'm not sure exactly, but it's very coincidental. Each time I eat cow's milk, dairy, I break out in hives. So I try to stay away from dairy 99% of the time and I slip out, I slip up occasionally. So who doesn't? So I picked up that. That is my favorite creamer, like I said. I picked up this Hawaiian blend coffee. I actually picked up last week, if you uh, can link the grocery haul from last week up in the I cards, I wanted to pick up this Hawaiian blend, but I ended up picking up the breakfast blend of this Cameron's and it was still on sale this week. So I decided to pick up the Hawaiian blend. I do have a Keurig, but I also have one of these cups 
so I can use ground coffee. I cannot wait to try that because the actual breakfast blend is delicious. So I picked up that and then I picked up this made good crispy light granola. Hold up. Let's go back. I didn't give you the calories on this. Half and half. It is 15 calories per tablespoon, 1.5 grams of fat, and less than one gram of carb if you're interested in that. And there are the ingredients. And let's go here again. Made good, crispy like granola, this strawberry. This is one of the lower calorie granolas out there. Um, for three fourths of a cup, no, start again. One third of a cup is 110 calories, not bad. So there are the ingredients. And it says nutrients from vegetable extracts. Sure, it sounds delicious. Why not, right? So I thought that that would be great to go with. Might as well just show you. My unsweetened vanilla, so delicious coconut milk yogurt alternative. Um, again, this is dairy free. And this one is only, since it is unsweetened, it is 70 calories per container, which... I mean, you can have yogurt up to 200 calories per container. I just had one this morning, actually, the one from Aldi, the almond milk one. Um, but I picked up this, this with some berries and some of this granola. And maybe even I have oat milk chocolate chips, just a few of those for a little bit of sweetness. Delicious. I picked up eight of these soft white hamburger buns. They're by Pepperidge Farm. I don't eat these all the time, but I also picked up some um, burger. I think they're chicken burgers or something like that from Aldi. It's going to be delivered, and I have some other turkey burgers here from there. So whenever I use those, I can freeze these so they don't go bad. But one bun is 140 calories. I know white bread is not the best for you, but once in a while, why not, right? Right. So next I picked up some of this um, imitation crab. I am going to be making sushi bowls this week, uh, hopefully, because last week they didn't have any soy sauce at Aldi and they weren't delivered, didn't deliver any, so they I need soy sauce if I'm going to have my sushi bowl. But I picked up this. It's non-GMO verified. Um... It's made from wild Alaska Pollock, so that's good. Wild is good. Um, so for a half a cup, it is 70 calories. Again, I mean, it's not real. It's imitation, but it'll serve the purpose for my sushi bowl. Then I picked up a pound of this 99% fat-free ground chicken. They didn't have 99% fat-free turkey, which is what I wanted, so I picked up this one instead, and I will just show you the calories. There are four um, servings per container and only 110 calories per serving. So ground turkey and ground chicken I love for um, um, ground meat purposes. I do eat, still eat red meat probably only about once a week. Um, the rest is either chicken or turkey. I picked up these chicken and maple breakfast sausages. There is no antibiotics, no nitrates, no nitrites. This brand is very good, this Applegate. Um, I wanted something different other than um, bacon for breakfast. And I still have English muffins in the freezer that I can pull out and make an egg and sausage sandwich. For one patty, it's only 60 calories, which is not bad at all. One gram of carb if you're interested in that and four grams of fat. Uh, these are the burgers that I picked up. These Mighty Spark All Natural Turkey Burgers. It says bacon bursting turkey patties. There's only two of these and they were $5, which yeah, it's, it's a little bit more pricey, but they looked good. So one patty is 210 calories. And here are the ingredients. Only one gram of carb, but there's 27 grams of protein. Obviously, you can put it in your in a wrap, on a salad, or on a bun, which is why I got those. So those, and there's my yogurts. And this is something new to me. This no sugar added good belly probiotics, dairy-free shots, lemon drop. Um, 
looks like it's made out of oat milk, I guess. So this puts um, the good bacteria, good probiotics into your um, gut, into your digestive system. So here are, whoopsie, the ingredients. And then here are the servings or the um, nutrition, Three, 30 calories per serving per packet. And there are sugars in this, so there are some carbs if you're looking at that. But they are this big, and there's four of them. And I thought, you know, four of them for the week, I will just try them out. Why not? They were on sale. So then I picked up two apples to go along with my, my fruit for the week. And then I needed just singly one red pepper and one green pepper for a recipe. So all of this was, I believe, around 60 some dollars, maybe $69. Fresh time is not cheap, that is for sure. Again, I get hooked when I go in. I didn't want to go in for that. I didn't want to go in for this. I didn't want to go in for this. But that's okay. I mean, might as well just try different things out, see what you like. But thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in my next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.